Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I got some more great books to recommend. Uh, some of these books, uh, this video is basically uh, books that you may not have heard of before. So I just went through uh, Goodreads and uh, looked at a bunch of books that I liked, uh, but they're actually uh, pretty low on the on the viewing. So I don't think a lot of people have either heard about these books, uh, but they're certainly well worth reading. Um, and needless to say, of course, I like these books or they wouldn't be on this list. I have uh, I have 13 books, I think, here in total. Um, I just wanted to bring up the Harry Potter one first, just to give you an idea of uh, what the ratings are and what, uh, what I was looking at. So just to compare Harry Potter to the other ones. So obviously Harry Potter is one of the, I mean, that's the most famous book, I, I guess, uh, on Goodreads. And... Uh, I, I mean, I can't imagine anybody not knowing uh, the Harry Potter book. So anyway, so it has uh, four and a half stars on Goodreads. It has over five million uh, people have uh, have rated this book, 5.7 uh, million, and has over 90,000 reviews. So obviously, it's a very popular book, and that's what I just want you to compare this because this is obviously the top book. Uh, regards to popularity, so I just wanted you to look at the uh, ratings for the other books. So yes, let's start off here. So the first uh, three are kind of a little bit of a cheat. Um, I've actually uh, talked about these three books before, and but I've still put them on the list because they're they're great and they're a little unknown. Uh, the Barrier to May series obviously is the first one. Um, great books, fabulous book. It has uh, four stars, four star rating on Goodreads. It has a hundred thousand uh, people who looked at it, and it's got uh, forty five hundred reviews. Um, next one is the Android series, another great series that I like. I uh, highly recommend that to people. Uh, it, it would appeal to a wide range of readers out there. It has a uh, four point four stars again rating. It's uh, 66,000 uh, people have read it on Goodreads and it's got about 6,000 reviews. Uh, the last one here is, uh, is, I've also talked about this one. This one doesn't have as quite a high rating. I'm a little. Uh, uh, it only has 3.61 stars, um, and I actually give this book a little more than that. Uh, I think this is a great book. Very funny. It's it's humorous, uh, but I think it's you have to have a certain type of humor maybe to like this book. So I can see, I guess, how some people didn't, or if they don't have certain sets of humor, they might not like this book. But I liked it. I thought it was great. It's got uh, 10,000 ratings. Or people have viewed it and about uh, 1600 reviews um, so let's see what else Columbus Day it's another one as uh, awesome book this one um, I, t I talked about another book that was similar to this uh, I found that this book it was only it was only the first half of this book it's very G.I. Joe I guess or US rah rah kind of uh, army driven book um, aliens attack and we have to defend ourselves and so on. so it was just about halfway through the book it was just okay it was it was it wasn't excellent but it was okay it was worth it was worth reading uh, but then about halfway through this book they introduced a new character it was an AI and that's when this book really took off for me uh, this new character he had such um, uh, such great rapport uh, such great um, uh, comic. Uh, comic relief kind of stuff. It, it it was just a great addition, great character to this book. Uh, very similar to the Bard of Maze, kind of back and forth uh, with the main characters. So this that's where this book really took off for me, and this this is where I, that's why I like this book so much. Um, I think it's uh, four four point four point two five stars, uh, nine thousand rating, so not very high, and only four hundred uh, uh, seven hundred and forty one reviews. So not a lot of people know about the, know about this book. Obviously, it was only nine thousand people viewed it, uh, but it's obviously the people who have liked it because that's why it's got four four point two five stars. Uh, the next one on this list is the Blacksmith's Son. Now, I I was just okay with the first book, and I actually stopped reading the first book first and went back and uh, and finished it after. And well, I was really really glad that I did because this series even though the first book was a little weak the series itself is excellent this is by uh, Michael uh, 
G Manning, and he has actually a couple of order series that I really like as well. But this, uh, but this one you can start off with this one. It's uh, it's got 3.88 stars, so almost four star rating. Again, only 10,000 people viewed this book uh, or read this book on Goodreads. Of course, I'm sure more people have read it than that. But this is the Goodreads rating, and only 300. And and 40 uh, reviews so so this is not a really well-known book uh, according to Goodreads uh, but it is awesome I would highly recommend this it's a for the magic system and it is it's really good um, it's kind of uh, I want to say a Dresden files but it, it gives you that kind of even though he's not, the character is kind of like Dresden even though he's not a detective or nothing like that but it's similar to that but, um, but again good book uh, good author he has some other great stuff out there so I'd recommend that book for sure uh, the next one is actually pretty famous so this is probably the most famous one on this on this list uh, this is it's, got, uh, it's the host by Stephanie Myers and that's the real reason why this is on this list because it's by Stephanie Myers and people a lot of people don't like Twilight they actually hate Twilight so as soon as they see Stephanie Myers they they're not going to read the host because they're like ah, that stuff Twilight, I hated it. I'm not reading anything with Stephanie Marks. Uh, that's a mistake. This book is actually really good. It's got uh, almost four stars again on Goodreads. Uh, like I said, it is pretty popular. It's got 800,000 people have read it on Goodreads. So, so it is a lot more popular than the other books that I've been talking about. But I just wanted to put it on this list because I think people are underestimate this. As soon as they see Stephanie Marks, they just skip by it and they don't, they don't want to read it. Um, it, there's actually a movie based on this one as well. I like the uh, I like the movie as well. I was quite I um, I wasn't quite sure. I was very interested in watching the movie because I wasn't sure how they were going to do this movie because because um, a lot of this book is internal dialogue. So I wasn't sure how they were going to do that in the movie, but they done a pretty good job. I was I was quite happy with the with that with the movie and and I was quite happy with the book. I thought the book was great. So the next book is called Graceling. I uh, really like this book as well. It's been a long time since I since I read this book, but uh, but it's really good. Uh, the uh, the people in the story are graced with abilities, and uh, that's the premise of the book. Um, you can have anything from I don't know, I guess uh, lighting a fire to climbing a tree to, I mean that's your what your ability is. And we follow the main character, and her her, uh, her what she's graced with the ability she's graced with is basically to be able to kill people or to be an assassin, and she's. Uh, she basically is uh, blackmailed, I guess, into being the king's assassin. She doesn't like her uh, her role, but that's she's stuck with it. And we felt it's a very strong female character. Uh, this book is uh, YA, and I think all three of these books actually on the screen here are YA. Um, I like young adult books. Uh, I like all kinds of fantasy uh, books and, and YA. It's just a, another genre that, that I'm fine with. Um, the next series. Uh, or actually I'll go through it. it's uh, four stars uh, obviously um, I, I know it's 4.09 but whatever four is fine um, it's uh, uh, about 300,000 uh, people have, uh, have put a, a rating on this book and about 20,000 people have actually written a review on this book uh, according to Goodreads so the next book is the Iron King uh, the as part of the Iron Fae uh, set of books I really like this book as well. It is again, it's YA, so it may not appeal to everyone, but and it's fantasy. There is one kind of disturbing kidnapping and rape scene in this series. Um, I'm not sure if it's, I don't remember if it's in this book, but it's definitely in this series. So just keep that in mind if uh, if you're sensitive to that or whatever. Um, the this almost four stars, uh, 173,000 people, and about 11,000 reviews. So not. Uh, quite as popular as uh, some other books regards to but still four stars so obviously good but just not a lot of people are, are exposed to this book um, the next one is by the same author, author is uh, called the Immortal Rules it's the Blood of Eden series uh, Julia Kagawa I think it is she this is a total flip from the Iron Face series. This is nothing like it. It's uh, way darker, and it's and it has one particular character who is pretty sadistic. So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, he's pretty much the the sadistic character is pretty much a serial killing vampire. Um, but 
again I like this book um, I didn't read I, I, I think I stopped this at the second book I haven't gotten to the third book in this series yet um, this, and the, the main point is, is a, there's a vampire book and uh, the person is trying to live in a in a world of vampires and trying to hide and stuff like that and uh, that's the main character and it's about survival uh, again this is over a four star rating uh, on Goodreads there's uh, six only 60,000 people have uh, read or, or marked this book as, uh, as read and only around 6,000 reviews so not uh, not, not winning popularity but it's a great book and it's certainly worth reading so up next on this list uh, we got uh, Sunset uh, Night Lord now I've never heard of this uh, author I've never heard of this book series before but it is great I was really happy with it uh, as soon as I read the first one I was pretty much hooked and I went out and got all the rest of the books so it's uh, it's got four uh, a little over four stars uh, rating and only around 2,000 people uh, read this book on Goodreads and only about 150 reviews so so this is not a very well-known book but uh, but uh, but the series is really good um, I kind of want to compare this to Dresden but it's uh, but it's also like the uh, but again but again he's not a he's not a detective and it's uh, and the uh, what's the other one? the blacksmith song it's uh, it's more I guess like that like two of these are kind of more like each other than than they are Dresden but but that's the only one that I can compare it to right now I'll actually do another video uh, that compares if you like this book then maybe you'll like that book and that's what this is kind of like if you like uh, uh, Dresden and um, and uh, the Black Smith Sun then you probably will like uh, this Sunset uh, book and this series as well so uh, so what's next? So next is uh, another fantastic book. I actually really enjoyed this book. Really loved it. I found it excellent read. Um, and I'm not sure if it's if I saved the best one for last. Or, well, actually, it's not last, but the last uh, last set of books. Really good. Um, it's it's got a kind of a corny name. It's uh, Bob. Uh, we are Bob. Uh, Bob Universe series uh, by Dennis E. Taylor. It's a great series and it's become one of my uh, favorite sci-fi series. It's uh, very unique, very clever, and uh, still very funny, and with some great characters. Um, this here is has 4.29 uh, stars. Um, again, on pop, an act pop, really popular. Uh, 34, 35,000 people have viewed it, and only about 3,000 written reviews. So, so not uh, not real popular, but it's still an awesome book like I said that's why I, I wrote this uh, list is for books like this that I don't think a lot of people have heard of they're a little unknown but they're like diamonds in the rough kind of thing they're they're really good um, the last one here is called uh, Sector 8 and again another fantastic book this one is like a lit RPG kind of thing and uh, there's a Russian Michael Ant and and Minoff I think that's right. Um, he, I, I've actually read a few things by him now after reading this Perimeter Defense uh, series, and uh, very good. Uh, uh, he has a lot of pretty good books out there. I'd recommend almost almost anything now that he's written after reading this one. He's uh, he's got uh, four four a little over four stars on uh, on this uh, 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 sector sector eight uh, book. And only a thousand thirteen hundred uh, reviews, or or views, I guess, or re reads, and only four forty reviews, so uh, written reviews. So not a lot of people know about this book, but let me tell you, it's excellent. It's if you like, it's kind of lit, if you like lit RPGs, then this, even though this is not exactly lit RPG, but it's categorized as lit RPG, but so it's very close to it. And I would recommend it to anybody who likes those type of books and. As soon as you read this, you're going to read everything by this guy, definitely. Um, my last book is uh, another kind of a cheat, Legion. I've, uh, I've, I've, read, I've uh, talked about this one already. I just did a big uh, series uh, for Brendan Sanderson, uh, about three videos of all of his books. And, and this was one of the uh, first ones that I recommended that you should read by him. It is... Uh, it's an awesome book. It's got four over four stars on Goodreads. Uh, Thirty thousand 
um, people have read it. Well, I'm sure, th like I said, more than 30,000 people read it, but on Goodreads, uh, 30,000 people have marked it, and about 2,500, 2,600 reviews. So again, not as popular as as some other books, and but well worth reading and well worth looking into. So I think that's it for uh, for my for my books. I think it was 13 there in total, and um, I think you should check check them out uh, and certainly let me know if you if you've read any of them or if you're planning on reading them. And uh, thanks again for your likes and your shares, and please comment down below. Uh, to help me grow this channel and um, and that's it I'm out